Hello folks, Legos are great, and so are air rifles, but what if you shoot your Legos with an air rifle? We'll be shooting .177 cal caliper, which is .77 of an inch, and that's the diameter of those lead kind of hollow point shots. We'll be shooting them out of this air rifle, which, as you've seen before, and it has it shoots about at a whopping 1,250 feet per second. And that is pretty fast. That's actually breaking the sound barrier. So these are fast enough to create a little sonic boom. So they definitely can be lethal for like small game and stuff. And we will be taking safety precautions. I will be wearing safety glasses. And there's nothing out in that direction for a long ways. And I'll be aiming the gun down. So even if it does go past the target it'll go just into the dirt here so with that said let's get on with this all right so the cock it pull this and a single shot uh, break action type gun and it's basically when you pull this back it rams a bunch of air into a piston and it stores it and so when you pull the trigger, it fires that all through this little barrel and shoots the lead projectile out. So you can see, I don't know how well that's going to focus on those, but here's what it's going to be shooting. It's pretty small, but it's pretty damaging. So first up, we'll be shooting this kind of flat Lego. It's not very thick plastic. I'm going to be aiming right for the middle of it. And I'm guessing it's going to go straight through. But we'll find out. Firing. Alright, beautiful. You can see it blew a hole. Where is that hole? It blew a hole right through it no contest you can see my finger right through it right through the back of it and then it carried on through the cardboard but as you can see that's gone straight into the ground there's no danger there that's just headed downward so no contest blew right through that and you could actually still use this lego because i mean that didn't compromise the structural integrity or anything that's just right in the middle so i'm going to be saving that and it's windy might need another rock thankfully there's no no lack of rocks around here Okay, next we'll be shooting this more textured piece. So it's got bumps on it, obviously, studs, or whatever you call it, want to call them. So it might pose a bit more resistance. Although I'm still guessing it's going to go right through. Firing. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Huge hole. <laughs> Blew right through the back. I mean, that's... That's a that's not messing around right there. And this is shrapnel. I mean, look at that. That's embedded in the cardboard. Like if you were standing behind that, you probably would get hit with some of this gnarled up metal shrapnel. And then here's is that a piece of lead? I don't know what that is. That's a piece of plastic from the black one. Interesting. Very interesting. And lastly, we'll be shooting this little Lego guy. See how he fares. Firing. Oh. What even happened? Holy cow. There's a huge like crater in the ground. The base is gone. The guy has no wounds on him. I mean, he's intact. Oh wait, no, his foot. There's a little chunk. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see it. Okay, there's a little chunk missing out of his foot. But where's the base? Hang on. Okay, so I could only find part of the base plate. Basically what happened is this gun shoots a little low. So instead of shooting him, I shot the base plate and completely destroyed it. Like broke it in half and sent shrapnel everywhere. So we're going to take another shot at him. I'm actually going to stand him up on, on this piece that we shot before. 
and take another shot. And this time I'm going to aim a little high, so hopefully we can hit him. Firing. That time I hit him. All right, well, there's the rest of the base plate that I sat him on originally. I found it just now. So I'm going to keep looking for the rest of the actual man that we shot, the, the Lego guy. And I'll update you when I find the rest of Well, here's part of him. Some more orange shrapnel stuck in the cardboard. I'll update you when I find the rest of him. All right. Well, this is all I was able to find to him. And please note, I didn't take him apart. He flew apart when he got hit. I'm sure you could tell that by the slow-mo. Kind of. I mean, I think the actual impact zone... Man, that's so blurry. I think the impact was right there because there's a huge dent in the side. And fractured everything from here. So, yeah, it kind of completely blew him up. So, if you're thinking that an air rifle is a gimmick, it's not. They are powerful enough to completely shred plastic. And plastic, like, I mean, this is hard. I'm not being able to dent that with my finger or anything. Like, it hit that with enough force to dismantle the entire thing and fling parts everywhere. So, yeah, you by all means, uh, a weapon, a powerful weapon. Alright, well since those Legos couldn't stop it, I went ahead and got a plastic chair that we're throwing away. And it's pretty thick. As you can see, here's a part of the broken edge. You can see that that's about, I don't know, quarter, eighth inch, probably eighth inch thick plastic. So that, if it stops that, I mean if it goes through it, that's going to be really impressive. Firing. Well, I was wrong. Look at that. Alright. Whoops. Entry wound. And right down in there you can see the exit wound. That's quite a bit bigger than the entry wound. And so yeah. It just blew through that thick plastic. What can we get that'll actually stop this thing? Okay, so I have an even thicker piece of plastic. This is an old chair leg. Based on what it did to the last one, I mean, it's probably going to go through. Sorry. No, it did not. It stopped. Now, if you know anything about lead rounds, if they don't go through it, they'll shatter. They won't just like make a dent and bounce off. They'll shatter. And that's exactly what happened. You can see here that, see those two marks there, that shiny bit? That's not plastic, that's lead. So the lead hit here, and it was kind of angled down too, so it hit it. And it didn't penetrate, and it exploded. The lead went down and stuck into the cardboard. So I'm going to see if I can get that out for you to see. So most of it went down, thankfully. And you can see that's the lead bullet, three pieces. That's a lot of it, most of it. Completely shattered and turned into shrapnel after bouncing off this really thick plastic. So yeah, they do stop eventually, but if it does stop, it'll put up a big fight until it does. All right, then for our grand finale, just for the laughs, we're going to be shooting an apple. See what it does to this, if it has any form of energy transfer. Because it can penetrate some hard materials, but what does it 
how does it interact with a soft material? Because these are hollow points. I mean, they're it's got like almost a little screwdriver tip looking thing, but they're meant to expand when they go into something soft. So hopefully we'll get some good energy transfer on that apple. Firing. Wait, where did it go in? Oh, okay, so here's our entry wound. You can see it cracked it all the way around. Like that's cracked skin right there. And then it came all the way through the apple. Oh wait, I'm sorry, this is our entry wound right here. So you can see it came in. That's all juicy and juicing out everywhere. It made a pretty big entry wound. Ripped through all the way to the back and blew out the back. And so yeah, it went through that apple, and it left a bigger hole than the bullet, that's for sure. Let's shoot it again. Okay, this is disgusting. There's complete carnage. It looks like someone threw applesauce everywhere. I mean, this is wet. I mean, is an air rifle? <laughs> That's pretty powerful. I mean, it's juice. It's disgusting. This is not like apple texture. It's like mush, because all that energy transfer just mushed the inside. I mean, is apple's texture supposed to be like slimy? I don't think this was a rotten apple, but that's disgusting. And it cracked it all the way put a bunch of holes and then I think two down here ripped off big chunk of it and some more chunks that actually flew backward well thank you for watching this was a really silly video didn't really fall in line with what I normally do on this channel but I hope you enjoyed it all the same I mean it was a little educational because now we know what, how powerful an air rifle is or at least this one Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.